This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. Acorn TV is your new home for thrilling mystery. With captivating stories from around the world, indulge in gritty crime dramas and suspenseful thrillers from abroad, all from the comfort of your own home. Binge classics, new titles and exclusive originals you can't find anywhere else. The evidence is in. You can go anywhere, anytime, all ad-free with Acorn TV. Sign up for a 30-day free trial with promo code BBC23. Brilliant TV awaits. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. BBC Radio 2. 10 to the top. Just six days to go before Christmas and time to meet contestant number one on today's 10 to the top. She is Emma Lou Hodgson from West Heath in Birmingham. Hello. Hello, Gary. How are you? I'm fine. I love your name. Were you actually christened Emma Lou? Um, I'm Emma Louise, yes. Aye. <laughs> and you're appearing in Panto. I am, yes. I'm appearing in Aladdin at the Cobham Theatre yeah. in Bromsgrove School. OK. And uh, how many nights are you performing? Um, so we're, we're straight through all evenings now until Saturday. Well done. And your character that you play is called what? Um, the Grand Kazi. <laughs> I hate to ask. Tell me about the Grand Kazi. Is it a big part? Yeah, it's a principal part, okay. and she um, she's a bit of a schemer, a bit of a wheeler dealer, yeah. but her heart's in the right place. And I guess there are a lot of toilet jokes. Absolutely, yes. It wouldn't be panto, would it? Yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, and you love crocheting, and you've been crocheting presents for all the family and friends this Christmas. Yes, yes. I've been busy crocheting. Yeah. What, are they get, they're getting jumpers. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not that. I'm not that good. I've oh. been doing things like blankets. Tea cozies, things, things like that. Might have a go at hot water bottle cover. Ooh, yeah. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. Mind you, I know nothing about crocheting at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ten to the top. Now, all Christmas questions this week, obviously. Okay. Okay. How are you using your Christmas music knowledge? Pretty okay. Yeah, I think there's there's a lot of Christmassy songs. To know about, so yeah, yeah I, um, and I'm mad into Christmas. Absolutely love it. So hopefully, I'll do okay. So I'm expecting big things from you, Emma Lou. I, I hope so. <laughs> Best of luck. Ten to the top on Radio Two. Question one. In 1979, which Beatle told us he was having a wonderful Christmas time? Paul McCartney. Yay, it was. Paul McCartney, well done. One point, and this next one's worth two. Which song from the soundtrack to The Bodyguard gave Whitney Houston the 1992 Christmas number one? I will always love you. I will always love you is the correct answer. Three points. Keep it going. Going to play a musical clip. It's the chorus from 1982's Surprise Christmas Number no. One. But can you name the duo performing it? Oh, I'm going to say Julio Iglesias, and I don't know who he's singing it with. <gasps> no. Renee and Renato. Of course it's Renee and Renata. <laughs> of course it is. Went blank there for a uh, minute. And save your love. Do you know, the man who wrote that tune was a guy called Johnny Edward. His other claim to fame, that he was the creator of the TV robot Metal Mickey. Oh, wow. I loved Metal Mickey. Yeah, he did his voice too. Wow. OK, we had a good start, then it came crashing down and now we'll build it up again. For one point, in 2008, Alexandra Burke and Jeff Buckley were both in the Christmas top three with different cover versions of which Leonard Cohen song? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, indeed. 
Yeah, well done. Two points on the next one. Uh, time to guess the year. In what year did Pink Floyd have the Christmas number one with another brick in the wall? 1979? Yeah! Yes! Well done. <laughs> Thank <That's> you. Excellent. <laughs> Yes, it was 1979, and you just got it in in time, and you've got three points on the next question. Remember, you still have a joker that you can play any time you like to double okay. the points on that particular question. I think I'm going to play it now, please. <laughs> this is worth a whopping six points. Which TV puppet duo sang about Them Girls, Them Girls on the 1994 Christmas Top 10. It was Zig and Zag. Yeah! It was Zig and Zag. Brilliant. And that was a great six-point question for you. Uh, remarkably, that song was uh, produced by the legendary DJ Eric Marilla. Did you know that? No, was it? Yeah, no, it was. No, no, no. Anyway, you've got a four-pointer coming up now. In 2015, which young Canadian star had three entries in the Christmas Top 10 with his songs Love Yourself, Sorry, and What Do You Mean? Oh, my goodness. Um, can't think. Justin Bieber. Just, it was Justin Bieber. It yes, was you know, Justin I had Justin Timberlake in my head, <laughs> but it's the wrong Justin. OK, back to one point. Never mind, you had a really good run there before that. Okay. On the 1982 Christmas chart, who told us all about A Winter's Tale? David Essex. It was David Essex. Building up again, two points. Another musical clip for you. Exactly ten years ago, this X Factor winner had the Christmas number one with her cover of a 2012 Demi Lovato hit. Who is she? Oh, the only one I could think of is Leona Lewis. Sam Bailey. Sam Bailey, okay. Yeah. yeah. Wonder what's happened to Sam Bailey? No, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you. She's currently starring with Scott Mills in the Jack and the Beanstalk panto in Leicester. She's oh, is she? Yeah, she's another panto star just like you. Well, we've got something in common then. You have. <laughs> Although I've never won X Factor, so. Well, if it comes back. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Might try a <my> look. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, for one point, and it's your final question. Right. Name the punk band from Sunderland, whose novelty cover version of Nelly the Elephant was a hit at Christmas in 1984. Oh, gosh. Um, it's like Bad Manners. Nah, it was the Toy Dolls. Anyway, listen, 13 points, not bad. Wow, not not bad. That's pretty decent. It I'll is. go with that. Yeah. Uh, whether Thank it's you. enough, we'll be down to James Edge from Deerham near Norwich. And he's on right after this. Hi, I'm Sean Keevney and I'm back with a new series of Your Place or Mine from BBC Radio 4, the travel show that's going nowhere. I'm a proper home bird, me. But each show sees another remarkable guest try to persuade me off my sofa and into the big wide world. And it is warm. <laughs> it is warm, but you just don't wear a lot of clothes and you yeah. just find a banana tree that's wafting. <laughs> Happy days. But will I make it out the front door? Lots of smiles mm. from people. I don't know if you're against that. Find out by listening to Your Place or Mine with Sean Keevney wherever you get your podcasts. See you there. BBC Radio 2. 10 to the top. Time to meet contestant number two now. He is James Edge from Deerham near Norwich City. I believe you used to run your own mobile disco. So, yeah, originally I was um, DJing for a, a guy and that's Harbour Lights and I set up on my own in 95 because yeah. uh, my surname's Edge, so this felt, yeah, cutting edge. Oh, like, yeah, 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 I like the way you did that. That's cool. Thank you. How long yeah. did you do that for? <laughs> so I've done that for, oh, 
for cutting edge that was uh just over seven years and then with the other guy that was five and a half so yeah 13 years in total of doing yeah mobile discos so you paid your dues it, it's true yeah yeah best gig you ever yeah. did best gig i ever did so i achieved the dream which i wanted to do. i always wanted to play a super club and yeah. i played a club called summit in um it's believe it or not it's in whiz beach near peterborough yeah and that, yeah done a, a four-hour set there which basically is um going all the way from motown northern soul yeah. right through to r&b and hip-hop and yeah it's brilliant brilliant night there's no better yeah. feeling is there as a dj when you play that one brilliant gig yeah and that was in that was in christmas eve 2001 Wow. I've well done that, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was great. Good yeah. memory. <laughs> and your nickname is Smiler. Yeah, that's the nickname the customers give me at the co-op, yeah, because <laughs> I'm the like, champion charity fundraiser there as well as a, a CTM. And yeah, yeah, they, that's because they, they just said, you know, you're always smiling, even if anyone's giving you any stick or anything, you still smile for it. So It's, <laughs> it's a great way <laughs> so to be, good. you know that. It is a great yeah. way to be. Yeah, thank you, yeah. <laughs> well, good on you. Good on you, Smiler. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> question is whether you're still going to be smiling after you've gone through your questions. This, this is true. <laughs> the fun is about to begin. You ready? Uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Good luck. For one point, name the Liverpudlian band whose song The Power of Love was a 1984 Christmas hit. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. It was the brilliant Frankie Goes to Hollywood. For two points, this Oasis song I'm about to play you was a new entry at number three on the 1994 Christmas chart. What's the one word song title? What's the title? Sorry, yes, Spaceman Babylon Zoo. You didn't listen to the question. No. I said this Oasis song. Oh, it's Oasis, yeah. It was whatever. One of the two songs on the B-side of the single was Half the World Away, which uh, later became famous as a theme tune to the TV sitcom The Royal Family. Got it, yeah. For one point. <laughs> on the Christmas top three, exactly 25 years ago... Denise Van Outen and Johnny Vaughan covered which famous Kylie and Jason duet for Children in Need? Especially for you. It was especially for you, so you have two points on the next one. The cast of which satirical comedy series told us Santa Claus is on the doll on their 1986 follow-up to The Chicken Song? That's uh, uh, image. Yeah. Was spitting image. She's starting to get a nice little run going now. Three <laughs> points on the next one. In what year did Rage Against the Machine beat X Factor winner Joe McKeldry in the battle for the Christmas number one? 2009. Wow. Without hesitation. <laughs> I, I guess you're good at the years, aren't you? Yeah, I am giving my dates. Yeah. Well, you got a four pointer coming up, still got a Joker to play. Okay. Play it anytime you like. Name the kids' choir from Greater Manchester who brought us the 1980 Christmas number one. There's no one quite like Grandma. St. Winifred's Choir. It was St. Winifred's School Choir. Uh, do you know one of the young girls in the choir on top of the pots was actually actress Sally Lindsay? Ah. Oh. You remember her from Coronation Street? A load of other stuff. Yeah, I do from, from Corrie and yeah, yeah. She was just seven at the time. My word. Uh, but, but still managed to keep John Lennon off the top spot that year. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy the Christmas charts sometimes, aren't they? Oh, definitely. Five points on this next question. Keep Five. it up. The song All Alone on Christmas was a 1992 chart hit that featured in the film Home Alone 2 and was performed by the singer Darlene Who. Is it Darlene Love? Yes! Excellent. 
Six points are coming up now. On the top three in December 1975, who said, I believe in Father Christmas? Greg Lake. It was Greg Lake. And I've got another musical clip for you. You've got two more questions to go. You still have your joker to play. You want to hang on? Yeah, hang on. Yep. All right. For seven points, we're heading back 52 years for a legendary Christmas number one. Just name the famous comedian who brought us this top tune. You can hear the offbeats pound as they raced across the ground and the clatter of the wheels as they spun round and round and he galloped into Market Street, his badge upon his chest his name was Ernie and he drove the fastest milk cart in the West Who's that? Is that Ken Dodd? <gasps> oh! No! 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 Oh, he only had one wronged up until then and it was going so well it was <laughs> Benny Hill Benny, oh, of course, see, I recognise the voice now. Benny Hill, yeah. Ernie, the fastest, fastest milkman in the West. In the West. <laughs> oh, well, Damn you won't it. forget that song again in a hurry, will you? <laughs> no. <laughs> you were on for a blistering score. I was Here we were hoping for this last question with like a, an eight or nine pointer or whatever. Uh, sadly, oh. it's just a two pointer. <laughs> Give me the one word title. Of the 2016 Christmas number one by Clean Bandit, which featured Anne Marie and Sean Paul on vocals. Rockabye. Yes, Rockabye is yeah. the correct answer. You still got a magnificent score, 24 points. That's all right, yeah. Only two questions wrong. Yeah, really, yeah, that's not bad. Really well done. So, your Thank Christmas you. present from us will be a Radio 2 smart speaker. That's brilliant. Yeah, thank you, Gary. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah. Have a fabulous Christmas, James. And all of you. And keep smiling. Oh, I will. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Cheers. And Emma Lou. Hello. You you got a good score, 13, but sadly you were up against uh, a top mobile DJ today. Yeah, a top mobile DJ. So, yeah, (laughs) did stand a chance, really. (laughs) But your Christmas present is a lovely 10 to the top mug. I will cherish that. Have a fabulous Christmas and uh, good luck with the rest of your performances as the Grand Kazi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. So, James had the best Christmas music knowledge today, but if you think you could do even better, then we'd love to hear from you. All you need to do is email 10 to the top at bbc.co.uk with your name, contact details, and why you think you're the right person to play. Or you can register to play by sending a message to the Radio 2 WhatsApp number. That's 08000 288 291. A smart speaker for the winner, a Radio 2 coffee mug for the runner-up, but I'll let you decide which is actually more valuable. More quizzing, same time, tomorrow. 10 to the top on Radio 2. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Acorn TV is your new home for thrilling mystery with captivating stories from around the world. Indulge in gritty crime dramas and suspenseful thrillers from abroad, all from the comfort of your own home. Binge classics, new titles and exclusive originals you can't find anywhere else. The evidence is in. You can go anywhere, anytime, all ad-free with Acorn TV. Sign up for a 30-day free trial with promo code BBC23. Brilliant TV awaits.